7.3 is on depreciation. So certain assets like a car, cell phone, machinery, they lose value over time. So, if you want to sell them after a while, you will get less for them than when you bought them. And they could even lose value to the point of where we call it scrap value. So you can get a little bit of money for it, but really not much. And you still have a simple interest and a compound interest type of depreciation. But they have new names. Simple interest is straight line depreciation. So you must know this word. We will not tell you it's simple interest. We will say straight line depreciation. The formula is similar to the increase, but it's got a negative there, a minus to show it's decreasing. So again, A is your final amount. P is your original amount, your principal amount. I is the interest rate. N is the number of years. Just remember now that your A will be less than your P because the amount is depreciating. The compound interest is called reducing balance depreciation. So once again, we will not tell you use compound interest. We will say this car um, loses value at a reducing balance depreciation. And your formula again looks similar to the compound interest formula but with a minus and again your final amount is less than your principal amount right let's just do an example for both of them the same example let's say um my final amount was five thousand my original amount was 10,000, N was 4, and my question is, what is I? So we're going to do it both times, one with a straight line. So above formula, we're going to fill in our values. So the i we don't know, so it's 1 minus 4i. Remember again, you can't subtract the 4i from the 1. They are not like terms. What is our rule? This should have been a 10,000, not a 1,000. Divide both sides by this number. So here you will get 0 0.5 equals 1 minus 4i. Now let's take the negative 4i to this side. That will make it positive. Take the 0 0.5 to that side. So we will get 4i equals 1 minus 0 0.5, which is 0 0.5 i equals 0 0.125 but remember we must multiply by 100 to get it as a percentage and you can put equal to provided you write percentage next to it right so if 10,000 depreciated to 5,000 in four years, then the straight line depreciation interest rate was 12.5%.
let's see what the reducing balance interest rate would have been if we had the same situation. So again, I would have had 5,000 equals 10,000. 1 minus an unknown i to the 4. Again, divide both sides. I would get 0 0.5 equals 1 minus i to the 4. Right, how do I get rid of to the 4th power? I do the 4th root. Then I've just got 1 minus i here. Right, I want to bring the minus i to the left and take this and you can see I didn't even work it out yet because now you can put all of that in your calculator and you will get 0 0.1590 if you do it to four decimal places and you're going to multiply by a hundred so it is 15.9% would have been the interest rate if it reduced like that on the reducing balance interest rate.